Hello everyone. Today I am going to do a watercolor painting. Here I am going to experiment some bright colors, and this will be a nature based painting where you will be able to see a lot of light and shade effects and uh, brightness and lightness of uh, the same color, and it will be draped study also and little bit background study as well so watch the video till end to get some uh, interesting tips and tricks between and uh, please hit the like button if you like this video and please comment below if you have any question and uh, please do subscribe my channel for more videos like this so stay connected till end let's start I prefer drawing the subject before starting my painting. Whenever I feel a little bit complex drawing, I always try to draw a little bit before starting my color. If you are very confident about that, then you don't have to draw. It is not necessary to draw it every time. This time I am trying to draw the object before applying the color because I want the proper shape to be retained till end. So like this you can also try. I have selected this painting from Pinterest because I wanted something very interesting to be photographed and uh, for light and shade practice we can get very beautiful images from Pinterest so this is my uh, one of my study so I thought why not I should try Pinterest photos and uh, here if you can see I have directly applied color red color on the papers and uh, this time I am not applying any water before applying the color because I want the, all the colors to be very bright till end. So this is one of, uh, of the technique you can follow that directly applying the color on the sheet before applying the water. Every time I do this kind of painting, I always check and that observation always important. I observe all the light and shades, whatever is there on the object. First, observe all the light areas where I am seeing very sharp highlight. I am not applying color in that, those areas, leaving those areas completely white because that is how watercolor works and after that slowly I will be going to the darker uh, areas in watercolor first we need to apply all the lighter areas then slowly we should go towards the dark but in oil painting or any other medium we can go the, do from dark to light but watercolor is opposite where you will have to apply the lighter colors first then gradually we should be going to the darker side I am applying dark purple on the background I am trying to uh, keep darker background so that my main object will come out this time will not concentrate that much detailing for the background but the background will be a little bit dark so that my entire concentration will go on my subject and the, the drape what you are seeing underneath the papers those I will be doing a little bit experiment so background Detailings will not be there, but there will be some color variations only.
it is very important to change the water frequently for, uh, when doing the watercolor painting because little bit dirtness in the water can spoil your entire painting so every time i wash my darker color uh, brushes uh, in the water i always try to change my water and uh, that's how i get the freshness till end sometimes i have seen a uh, lot, lot of my uh, students like complains that my paintings like when i start first time it looks good but uh, by the end of the painting it looks very dirty so all the things depends on the water what you are using for the painting it is always good to keep little extra water near you every time you wash your brush again dip your brush in the clean water then again use it so try once or twice you will be able to see the difference now finally i am working on the uh, darker part so this is the third tone i am applying now so this will be the last tone of this watercolor painting and if you see i am working only on the shadow part trying to uh, make darker the shadows to, so that i can see the volume of the object here wherever i am seeing dark shadows i am just touching up on those areas so that my painting looks uh, finished if you like this video please hit the like button and please comment if you want to ask me any questions and i have created lot of videos like this in my uh, playlist it is already mentioned if you want to see you can definitely check on my playlist which will be given in the description box and uh, let me know what is your style what kind of style you prefer to do watercolor and please subscribe to my channel to check uh, more videos like this and thank you for watching this video till end and bye bye we'll see you in the next video